probability distributions for graphic display calculator. 2. Normal cumulative frequency. Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to show how to use the normal cumulative frequency function using Casio FXCZ50. Switch on your calculator, pressing AC button. Press the menu key to open the main menu, then move the cursor or press 2 to select the statistics function. In this video, we are going to solve the following question. X is a random variable that is normally distributed with a mean 0 and standard deviation 1. Find the probability when X is between minus 1 and 1. Press F5 to select distribution. Press F1 to select the normal distribution. We are working out the cumulative probability. Press F2 to select normal cumulative distribution. Select variable by pressing F2 for the data. Enter minus 1 for the lower and 1 for the upper boundaries for x. The original setting for the standard deviation and the mean is 1 and 0, respectively, for this calculator. We are going to draw the graph and calculate the probability. Scroll down the screen. Highlight the execute and press F6 to draw the graph. The probability for the question is 0.683. This value also represents the probability between minus 1 and 1 standard deviation. Next, we are calculating the probability between standard deviation of minus 2 and 2. Press exit to go back to the screen to enter minus 2 for lower and 2 for upper boundaries. It is possible to work out probability without drawing the graph. In this case, press Execute. We have 0.954 for the answer. Let's think about another question. X is a random variable, which is normally distributed with a mean 400 and standard deviation 80. Find the probability that the randomly selected X is between 240 and 560. Press Exit and go back a screen and enter the following values. For this question, lower value for x is 240, upper 560, sigma 80, and mu 400. Highlight execute and press F6 to draw the graph. The normal distribution graph is drawn, and the answer for this question is 0.954. In this video, we have shown how to use normal cumulative distribution function, graphic display calculator as easy as pie. 